welcome everyone to this new series distant worlds universe my name is daily fix and we are going to embark on another 4x space uh, space game it's going to be absolutely fantastic because it is a massive game that is the ai is so good and that there's so many options as well yeah it's going to be fantastic it is now i could talk about this for a long time and completely make a fool of myself but we're just going to be starting with the introduction game and we're going to be starting in where is it the standard empire uh, because the others are a bit uh, different so standard empire let's create a custom empire so let's go for um, what would we like eclipse varied clusters even clusters in regular yeah this seems cool this seems cool now in huge huge sectors why not why not expansion is pre-warp so we'll have to discover pre-warp and i'm i'm hoping it's going to be absolutely fantastic also fair warning the music in this game is completely copyrighted by third parties and if there is a a, a horrible amount of ads they're not mine they're not mine but i still hope you're going to be um un enjoying yourself so aggression unstable chaos uh, difficulty normal yeah sure why not why not uh, research cost uh, very expensive well it, it would it it would make uh, the game a tiny bit more slow but perhaps even um, more fun pirates uh, normal pirate strength normal uh, I don't want to change too many of these options and I'm sure some of you would say you've already made 15 mistakes just by uh, starting the game I hope I will still do fine. So uh, let's see colony provision. Hmm. Colonization range is two sectors. I, I kind of want to dial this one down. Uh, colony influence range. Let's just go up to 100. It it's 100 so why not 100. Everything normal. Let's go. Now. I've been told not to go with humans ever again because people are getting somewhat uh, annoyed by me playing as a human. So, what are you? Uh, Antivian, you, you look cool. Um, default reproduction rates. I, I kind of feel that um, maybe there's some cool, cool other species in here. Let, let's go over some of these. Rodent Desert reproduction rate is plus. 21 wow insect very aggressive very unfriendly quite intelligent and very unreliable warrior class fierce rivalry man this this always sounds good oh wait a minute look at this um we are also going to be a hive mind oh this, this could be fun this could be fun why not uh growth rate plus 10 percent Awesome. I think we're going to be playing as the uh, the Sul Sulkin? The Sulkin. Why? Why not? Blue screen because I was actually watching his, uh, his series, but this empire is going to be uh, Unity. Mm. No. The Coalition. Why not? Let's make it into the Coalition. Let's take a quick look. What kind of icon would we like? And uh, this seems like a coalition thing. Let's go with my uh, my own colors. That is uh, orange and yellow. Random placement, home system. Uh, let's go with agreeable. Size is starting. Why not? So the uh, the galaxy is, is starting or, or the territory. I don't know. Technology, pre-warp, corruption, normal. We're a hive mind. Approval plus 10. Corruption, negative 20. Growth rate is... Normal research speed, normal colony income, normal maintenance cost, 5 and all of that other good stuff. Auto generate 19 other empires. And um, allow independent alien colonies to start new empires during the game. And that is just cool. I like that. I might have to dial down a few of the, uh, uh, the music options. 
especially when clicking it might be very loud I hope it's not uh, do I don't allow trade I don't want that uh, people have been telling me that uh, the, the AI the AI does does really enjoy trading oh my oh my so victory conditions apply after year something time limit game finishes after and it's off so there's no time limit it, this is just going to be a sandbox the return of um, of these fellas I don't even know who you are enables the story events in the game and the re um, related victory conditions why not if it kills me it kills me and if it doesn't kill me it will find different ways to kill me so looking very much forward to this uh, this game has been brought to my attention by my uh, well it's not it's not my discord community it is the discord community that i am part of like so uh, so many others and um i believe ultimate toby and julius uh, julius the elf delf well they uh, they definitely brought this game to uh, to the attention of the discord community if you feel like joining a discord community the links are in the description and I'm, uh, I'll welcome you there, uh, myself, I, I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, here we go, welcome to your empire. With the, uh, the Shulken, Shulken, whatever. Can't even pronounce my own, uh, my own, let's pause here for a second, let's zoom out. Oh, so, wow, look at this. You see this? It's like Stellaris, but then, um, then completely different. There are some great options though, uh, so we want to be changing a few things. Uh, one is I'm going to be destroying my tax income because this will uh, absolutely boost the hell out of my growth speed of my uh, my population. Uh, we have a quality of the planet of 91 and I've been told that that's great. That's great. So what we want to be doing is getting to the max population of our planet. Uh, resources. We, we have a few, we have a few. If they're good, I don't know. I, I'd say they're amazing. First Shogun term Terminators. Okay, let's garrison you. That's fine. We have a construction yard. And I um, I want to build a few things. I want to go with a, uh, a small spaceport. Uh, but first thing, I would really like to make a construction ship. I believe that this one is built on the planet and the small spaceport wow that guy has a very loud bike that's amazing I really love people that have light loud bikes so I want to have a energy research lab I want a high-tech research lab I want to have a weapons research lab and once the starbase is done we are going to be able to make um, how do you call them again? Exploration ships. So, yeah, looking very much forward to that. So, this is all going to be um, built. Influence. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Apparently, there is nothing inside of my circle I could potentially visit. Which is a bit of a shame. It is a bit of a shame. Let's, uh, let's on pause. Let's, uh, let's turn up the speed a tiny bit. So, what is in here? So, my planet is around here. And you see that my bases are going to be... Made, ooh, technology, beam weapons, uh, no, 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 that's not, that is not, so we are going into armor plating, which I think is absolutely fantastic, next up, I would really like to go with, mm, any mini, mini, mo, which path should I go? Uh, let's go with advanced beam weapons and let's go for missiles for range. Uh, we'll get the rest later. Energy and construction. We're doing the energy collection which is great. However, I would, I, like to, I would like to go for war but we don't have that just yet. But I would like to go with shields and space construction. I, I kind of would like to turn this one off. Let's turn off shields. Let's go. F uh oh, no. Space construction that will allow us to build larger ships. And then go with shields. 
And then go with energy collection. High tech industries. Transport systems. Standard troop compartment. So that will be lowered. That's quite nice. And then I would like to go with entertainment. And medical. As well as crew systems. Storage systems will do later. Uh, what this will do. They will add uh, some growth speed to your planets. Yes. And that is by the compliments of... Uh, of, of Larry Monte, uh, a series that I've been watching on this game as well. So yeah, looking very much forward to that. Also, uh, some of the guys in my community are uh, are also just streaming this, which is great. So now we're going to be playing a bit of a waiting game, and just uh, hopefully we'll get one of those uh, ships quite soon. I'm actually not very happy that my mouse goes out of my border and uh, stops the scrolling effort. Unknown colonies, there's actually nothing here. So, what would be... Let's see, where are we? Open expansion planner and go into research targets. Oh, of course, we haven't... We haven't been going through our system, so how, how could we know? What is cool in this game is that actually... Everything is moving. Everything is going around its star. Here we go, we got the, uh, the starship construction. That's great. Let's pause it for a second. Is there something that we can actually potentially do then? Hmm. Well, I believe that he is going to be helping with the uh, the construction as well, as you can see over here. He is helping the construction of our star base. So let him go at it uh, with the star base uh, in order. Our private sectors can actually go and and do something amazing. Yeah, in terms of uh, of these guys. Counter espionage. Well, we can use you to counter espionage forever. You're a troop general, but we don't have troops just yet. We have a leader. Um, espionage, negative two. Colony happiness and diplomacy. A hive mind with diplomacy. That's going to be something. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, diplomacy scream, there's no point. Summary of our empire. This actually shows you like the private sector. Um, it shows you how much uh, money they have on hand and then we have 10k and eventually they will start paying us as well. So that's going to be fantastic. Oh, here we go. Pirates. Pirates are so great in this game. They are plenty and they offer you protection. They just offer it. What else do you have? Um, information? No. <laughs> oh boy. So, what would happen if you do not get this agreement? Well, basically, you'll have a very short game. Uh, they will just destroy everything that is in orbit, and that would not be very nice. Also, enforcer size is 260, firepower is 20. So, yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Let's go into... Where are you? Building orders? No, not really. Open designs. Let's go to star bases. Uh, because there is a few things that I um, I should change. Leave organization on for now. So I've been looking and I should go for all weapons. The reason for it is for now your bases are just going to be waiting until they are at the closest range for your pulse blasters and stuff like that. And they won't use missiles earlier on. So let's save those right now. And let's make sure that we do this with all of you. Um, we'll definitely upgrade these, um, these stations um, as we go. Looking very much forward to that. I'm, I'm actually, um, I can't wait until people are... Uh, pointing out in the chat, in the uh, comment section about things I should be doing, uh, things I should have done differently. And uh, we can have a fun game. We can definitely have a fun game. Uh, let's see, manually, yes please. I, wait, I'm an idiot. What I should do is, um, is click the following one. Do not ask me again and leave the optimization on. Let's get all of the weapons in here. We don't have to retrofit anything just yet. Even though it does say Mark II. We're not going to be retrofitting at all. So. We have avoided a pirate raid on our home world. The. Uh, Niggen. Ni. Ni. Niugen. 
whatever. Well, uh, leave me in the comment sections uh, planet names, uh, ship names, whatever, and we'll have a uh, a good amount of fun with that. Leader names as well, if you want to be a spy master, you go ahead and let me know. So, we have avoided a pirate raid. In the past, there were rumors of a secret visit from star travelers, but recently these visitors um, from the stars have begun to appear openly. Some are hostile, taking whatever they want by force. Others come in peace and trade. Ancient legends speak of a time where our own ancestors once traveled amongst the stars. But with the great forgottening, all this knowledge was lost. Many of our people say that now is the time for us to return to the stars. With the technology that we have acquired from, uh, from, some, of the, uh, from some of our stellar visitors, it should be possible to once again become a space-faring civilization. If that is true, we will eventually find out. So we have a spaceport constructed and, and that should bring us uh, new ships. Uh, let's go ahead and I should do that differently. Docking bay perhaps? No. Okay, let's go to construction yard. Spaceport and go with the exploration ship. Let's purchase one. And have some fun with that. So let's take a quick look. So my exploration ship is here. He's automated. So I don't really have to do a lot. Where's my construction ship? Research station has been constructed. Now the reason I wanted to do this. If you go to your research. Uh, you can see that already this research station is doing 120k. And this is our spaceport, just barely scraping by with 20k. So I think this is the best opening moves. Uh, getting all of those stations done, getting our hat in the technology game. Looking very much forward to that. Let's see, research station, research station being built, exploration is being built, construction ship. Hmm. Does that mean that we can now finally see what is in our system? Potential colonies? Galaxy priority, resource location, yeah, we can't see all that uh, much. How about you? What is going to be important? So with the prices, I believe the highest price is um, is for goods that we just do not have. We have no sources of getting those. So eventually, we will have everything. We will have it all. We will have. We have, we have fleets, armies, planets, and uh, a lot of wars. I'm, I'm really looking forward to wars. What's this X? We have a lone trader. Um, so, apparently, the lone trader, where are you? I'm still saying that this is the lone trader. No, he is from the Empire. He's our... There we, there we go. Here's, here's the lone trader. And as you can see, he is uh, a small frigate, he is private, and I'm saying he's a pirate, but that is fine, they will uh, trade with us. And now that we have a spaceport, eventually we want to make sure that we have some form of defenses going on as well. And I'm saying that these options, these are still a bit too loud. Let's go to the effects over there. I don't have automatic saving on, I, I will save every, every episode's end. So there's no point in doing this. So he is exploring and we can see there are some resources here. Um, apparently 120 in total is an amazing, amazing total. So this would be very nice. We got hydrogen and we have Gaslon. So let us order. Q construction ship to build an energy research station. I don't think so. A gas mining station already is building a gas mining station over there. Which is cool. Which is very cool. Bonus income. Why is that? Well, our spaceport is now allowing the private sector to start building their own ships. Now, once we are out of money, we will get our taxes up. And once that is all done, eventually, once this says max... 
Uh, we're going to be playing around with the taxes and making sure that we have a very nice income. And I think that is actually when this game is going to start. As for our exploration ships, if they would go to these dots first, there is a chance for us getting technology or warp. And of course, one is always going to be warp uh, because otherwise we can't leave the system and that would make a very short series. So construction, your, uh, the construction of your very first mining station allows us to gather large quantities of valuable resources for us in powering the econom uh, economy of our home world and building more starships, which is great. <sighs> Anyways, I think this is as good as time as any just to stop recording. Hope you are having a wonderful time. If you do, don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.